Let's hope these heatless curls turn out good. I haven't washed my hair for a couple of days, but I've literally just been spraying them with this water bottle. And to be honest, it actually does a good job. So we love that. I'm so excited to go and get a facial this morning. I haven't had a facial for a while. Um, but my skin's been breaking out recently. I don't know what's going on. I've got one there. I had one there. Heatless curls is actually like one of the best inventions ever. Do need some dry shampoo though. I'm just gonna leave it as that for now because we're going to get a facial. I don't even want to put anything on my skin, so there's no point doing that. Um, so yeah, I suppose, I suppose I'm ready to go, aren't I? The facial that I'm going to get is called, I think it's a new one. I'm going to Face Studio again where I got my teeth done, where I've had my facial, where I got my Botox done. Literally the best place ever to get anything done. It's two hours long. <laughs> it's called the Glass Skin Facial. It includes a double cleanse, exfoliate, extract, exosums, peel. Exosum infused masks, LED light therapy, radio frequency, hydrogel mask, lymphatic drainage, and sculpting massage. So I'm excited to go for that. So I'm gonna go now. So let's go and get our facial. Heatless curls are so good. Look at the hair. They look so good. I feel like this video is gonna be a really shaky while I'm driving, so I apologise. But that was the best facial I've ever had in my life. So nice. My skin actually looks like glass. It's called the glass facial, but look. Skinny skinning. I couldn't really film much because she was like doing stuff and my eyes were closed the whole time. But there was like steam. She did like an extraction thing and she started scraping it on my nose. She showed me what she got out after and I was like, ugh, that is gross. My skin just feels clean and it feels fresh and it feels ready for the engagement party and it feels ready for holiday next week. I feel like a facial is exactly what I needed. My skin's been acting up recently, so yeah, it just feels nice to just be, be fresh. Um, I'm gonna drive home now. I've had a delivery at home of some clothes, so I think we're gonna do a mini haul. But yeah, 100% recommend Face Studio Clinic, by the way, if you're in Birmingham or if you're willing to travel. I've had my teeth done there, I get my Botox done there, they do fill out. It's not the best place, and like when you go in there, the vibe's just unreal. Okay, let's go home. It's now 10 past 12. I've got my eyebrows today as well at two o'clock, which I'm actually excited about because these look gross. Hello. Oh, I know. I missed you too. I missed you too. I know. Oh, I know. It was such a long time. It was such a long time. I missed you guys. Right, so you know how I said we were going to do a little haul. I've got a parcel here from Addicted. I've never tried anything from Addicted before. I want to tell you guys, I've been seeing it all over my Instagram, all over my TikTok. It has been everywhere. So I'm so excited to show you the bits that I picked up. So I do just want to say a massive thank you to Addicted for working with me on this part of the vlog. I'll leave all the bits that I've picked up linked down below for you all. But should we open it up and see what we've got inside? I will try them all on and leave little clips here of me trying them on as well. Oh, apparently I was feeling the blue vibes. There's a lot of blue in here. All right, so I picked up a few pairs of jeans. I feel like my jeans section of my wardrobe kind of slacking. So I picked up a few different pairs. This is the first pair. I love a washed black jean. I way prefer these to like normal all black jeans. Quality feels really nice. They're like thick, but not too thick where they're gonna be uncomfortable. And they're just like a wide leg pair of jeans. Just a little basic that's literally gonna go with everything. I got those in a medium and I'm hoping they're gonna fit. They look like they're gonna be like a nice low waisted sort of baggy vibe. I think these jeans are the exact same style, but just in a different color. These are just the blue ones. I've got good vibes from these jeans. You know like how they're gonna fit. I like the like gap. From there to there, it doesn't seem really big, so they are gonna actually sit low waisted. If you've been around for a while, you'll know how fussy I am with like the wash of blue that the jeans are, but these are like the perfect light wash for the summer. I don't actually have just like a decent plain blue pair of jeans, you know. They've all got like cutouts and stuff, so I just needed like a basic pair. These ones are sick and they're so freaking cute. I did get a large in these. I don't really know why I did that, but we'll see. They're sort of the same blue wash, but instead of just like plain wide leg jeans, they are still wide leg. They've got like a seam to hair down the front. And then ribbons. I feel like bows and ribbons are so in right now as well. So these are perfect. Like I said, I did get a large. They might be a bit big. Let's see. But imagine this with like a little basic white top. Some trainers. A bright coloured bag. Just like a pop of colour with these. And I'm really slacking in the cute top department. Like when I go out, I want to wear jeans and a nice top. The only tops that I've got are basically baby tees. So I'm stocking up on my cute tops. And how nice is this? It's kind of like a slinky. Not scuba material, but like a really soft material. And I love the contrast of the white. That's so perfect for summer as well. So nice with the blue jeans. I can all blue little outfit i got this in a size medium i'm pretty sure they had more colors as well but i just love the blue one and then just another little cute top to go with jeans this one's actually a bodysuit but i love the color pink of this it's so nice it's like a barbie pink but without being too bright it's like a little one shoulder moment and it ruches on the shoulder here and the bodysuit is a thong which we love and it also has like the buttons at the bottom so you can get in and out of it i got that in a medium and again with blue jeans blue jeans pink top pink bag 
pink heels. I might take that with me on holiday. I'm going to Dubai. I thought that could be really cute of an evening. And then I picked up this little cute lacy play suit. This could just be like for chilling in the house or you could actually wear it out with like a white shirt over it or something. I love the little lace trim. I love the baby pink. And I love how short the shorts are. Short shorts are my favourite kind of shorts. Not the shorts where like my bum's hanging out, but actual short shorts are my favourite kind of shorts. And they've got lace around there as well. I've got this in a medium again. It's a nice slinky material. It doesn't look like it's going to be see-through. And that is so cute for the summer. And then the last couple of bits I picked up are co-ords. I feel like it wouldn't be a me video without a co-ord. I've got these wide leg, almost like knitted flared trousers. Hopefully they're long enough for me because I do have long legs, but they actually look all right. Just a little wide leg. These are so thick and so heavy. I've got an elasticated waistband. I love the colour of them. And then I did also pick up the matching top. And I love this little top because look, it's like a little square neck. I love the pattern on it as well. That would just be nice with like denim shorts or even jeans as well. I've got that little set in a medium. And then the last little set is a little flare set. I love a little flare set. And this colour blue is unreal. But like a fold down ribbed trouser. A little essential that's going to go with everything. Little white vest tops. Hoodies. Literally anything. But I did also pick up the matching blue top. Which is like a little ribbed long sleeve top. The quality of this again is nice and thick. It's not going to be see through. But you can wear these individually all together. I'm excited to try all these on. Look at all the similar colours we've got going on. We love that. Yeah, thank you so much to Addicted for sponsoring this part of the vlog. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. Make sure you check them out. They've got some unreal bits on there. Like, there's obviously a reason that you've been seeing them all over your social media because same. Now it's time to go make some breakfast because I'm a hungry girl. I'm going to ignore my hair. I had a head massage, so I've got all oils in it. So now it looks really greasy. I've made myself an egg bagel. I haven't had an egg bagel for months. Remember when I was like hooked on her? I just went off them. Well, not even went off them. I just never had them. So cheers to our first egg bagel of 2024. Mm. They're not as good though because I've got bagel things rather than like the actual bagels. And proper bagels are way better, but I go on holiday in a few days, so bagel things it is. I do need to hurry up though. I need to go for my eyebrows. How are you? Oh, are oh, your eggs? Mm hmm. Back on, what do you think? Mm hmm. Back on a minute. Put salt on them. Mm -hmm. It's just not the time about the big bagels. Uh, yeah. Bagels are making it, innit? Mm hmm. They are nice. Right, it's eyebrow time. These need sorting out so bad. Look at the state of them, they're actually disgusting. I haven't had them done since before we went away, so that's like two months nearly. I wanted them to be fresh for the party, so I've left it. And now they look disgusting, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go and sort them out. I'm just gonna get, I think it's HD brows I'm getting. Um, I've kind of gone off laminated brows and I would really love to get an LVL but I'm not allowed an LVL because I had an LVL last time so it's not been long enough yet which is really upsetting. Yeah, I probably could have got one actually because it's been two months but I think she said it's supposed to be ten weeks so no LVL for me today but yeah. Let's go get our brows done. Are done. They look a little bit dark. They always do when you first get them done. Then obviously they'll fade as I wash them. But the brows are brow in. Finally, all them horrible unwanted hairs are gone, and we got fresh brows. And Charlie even got us an engagement present. I'm going to show you what it is because it's literally the cutest thing ever. This, how perfect is this going to be in our bedroom? That is literally the cutest thing ever. I actually can't go. You love it. I've literally used that picture as well because we haven't got like anything with that picture in. The only one we've got is the one where he's actually on his knee. That is so cute. I love it so much. My eyebrow lady's just the best. Right, my Oaks mum's now. I don't really know what our plan is. But I'm doing Oaks mum's hair and we're obviously not going to film that because she's not going to want to be on YouTube. I might not even vlog anything till maybe tomorrow, but it's going to be a two day vlog anyway. It's almost like a glow up video, isn't it? Because I'm having a facial. Have my eyebrows done, got my nails tomorrow. A little chill couple of days, to be honest. Well, I say chill. Tomorrow night we're going to where we're having our party to start setting up because it's going to be a big job. I basically got quoted like over £2,000 for... I wanted drapes set up and I was thinking two grand. Like if it was a wedding then yeah fair enough but it's literally just an engagement party so I was like I'm not really going to be spending that kind of money on it. So I've ordered some drapes myself. We're going to command strip, command hook strip them to the walls. Pray they don't fall down. We've got 300 balloons to get blown up tomorrow with helium. It's going to be a busy, busy couple of days but it'll be worth it in the end. But yeah I'm going to go into Oaks Mom's now so I'll speak to you whenever I next speak to you. <laughs> but I love the brows. Good morning guys and happy... Friday. My eyebrows are still really dark. It's not been 24 hours yet, so we can't wash them off. My hair's a greasy mess still because I haven't washed it since getting my facial yesterday. 
But today is potentially going to be one of the busiest and most stressful days of my whole life. Not to be dramatic. So I'm putting on a hat. So I partially hide the dark eyebrows. They hide the greasy hair. But I've just got so much to do today in terms of party prep. I've also got to get my nails done because that happened yesterday. Well, I was booked in anyway to get them done, but that happened yesterday. I've got to run around and get some last minute bits. Uh, and then we've got to start setting up the room tonight. I'm actually not feeling the pressure now. It's 9.45 in the morning on Friday. I'm ready to go. I need to go to town actually and get some seamless underwear. I need to get some skims because my outfit for the party is there. It's not see-through, but you can like see the outer edge of my underwear and I don't want that so I'm going to get some skims. You know what though, my brown ones. I've got brown ones but I don't know if because the outfit's cream, the brown will be too dark. I've got my nails at quarter past one. We've got an appointment at three o'clock. There's just like a lot going on today and I don't know how I'm going to also vlog during the process but I'm going to try. <laughs> We're going to attempt it. I have wrote myself a to-do list on my phone. So I think first step I'm going to add so I need to get some like last minute food bits for the party. I want to scatter some rose petals on all the tables, so I need to get a couple of bunches of roses. Enjoy this stressful day with me because it's going to be... Oh, I don't even know how it's going to end up, but hopefully it's not too bad. But it's all part of the process. It's all part of the party process, isn't it? But it's just... Oh, I've got so much going on in my life at the minute. It's just a lot. Like, it's a lot. Right, let's go. I need to make the bed first, actually, because I literally hopped out of it. Everything that I said I was going to do this morning was a big fat lie. I didn't do any of it. I did have to end up cutting the grass in the garden. That wasn't on my plan for today, but I had to get it done. And now I'm going to my nail appointment. Well, I'm going to Jodie's first because it's to pick up like, you know how you have hot food on like a buffet and you have their metal trays to keep it warm? She's got some of them. So I'm going to her to pick them up now, the party tomorrow. And then I'm going to get my nails done. I've got so much on my plate right now, like in life. Like my eyes watering thinking that I'm that stressed out because I've got so much to do and so little time. I'm going on holiday on Tuesday as well. Haven't really ordered much for that. Grace, bless her, has had to plan the whole trip for us. I'm going to Dubai with Grace. I feel like I've had no input and I feel so bad, but like when I say I've got so many things going on at one time, you'll find out all about like the other things at some point in the next couple of months, but oh my God, I'm stressed. I feel like I've even neglected my friends. So Aimed, if you're watching, I'm so sorry and I love you so much, but we're not high maintenance friends anyway, but you know when you just feel like I've been such a shit friend this week? That is me right now. But yeah, I'm on my way to my cousins to go and pick up these freaking trays. At least when the party's over and done with tomorrow, that's like one thing off my list. If you know what I mean. Like, I'm not wishing it away or anything. I can't wait for the party. I think it's going to be so good. But like, the stress of organising a party, <sighs> it's a lot. But it's, it's my own fault. Like, I'm stressing so much because I want the room to look nice. Because I, I can't remember if I've said it already in this vlog or not. The room isn't nice, it's an ugly room, I'm not gonna lie, but it's literally because it's on top of a pub. And I was, I can't remember if I said this or not, if I have, then I'll just cut this whole section out. But basically, I wanted to be able to do like buffet food at our party because I don't want a sit down meal, I don't want like fancy food. I literally just want some jerk chicken and rice, some mac and cheese, and then you know all like picky bits like party foods, so, like chicken nuggets, samosas, cakes, biscuits, all that kind of stuff. That's literally all I wanted. And all like the nicer pretty rooms, I was looking like Dick Buffin in town and stuff. All the nice pretty rooms, you have to basically have their food, you're not allowed to bring your own food in. Their menu was like £10 per head and I'm inviting like... I say there's 120 people on the list but there's definitely going to be more than that. And I'm like, I'm not paying that for food that no one really wants anyway because it's like posh food. We just want picky bits. So I've literally just had it on top of a pub, like in a function room on top of a pub. But the walls are like red, they've got ugly picture frames up, so basically what I'm doing is i might film some bit later actually i'm basically just setting up loads of white drapes and hanging them off the wall i feel like i do remember saying something about the drapes so we're going to hang the drapes up today that's been like my main stress of the whole party making sure the room looks nice so yeah i'm bringing it all on myself i'm not complaining it will be good in the end it doesn't really matter what the room looks like it's just me being a prick they're all my life updates for now i did have cream leggings on earlier but keeks was in the garden and she jumped on me so i had muddy paw prints on my leggings now I've had to switch them to black leggings. Anyways, let's go and get our nails done. The strawberry nails are going. And we're going to get the engagement party nails. I'm so excited to show you them. Hopefully Cham can do them. I'm sure she can. I'm sure she can. But um, yeah, I need to wash my hands before I get my nails done actually because I've got mud on them from where I was cutting the grass. That was just like a word vomit for like four minutes. Sorry about that. Shit. 
Haha. I'm excited for this. Engagement hours. Yeah, that's one side. And twist. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe face. Oh shit. Wow, it's the most cringe thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, uh, you, love, you love me, don't uh, you? Uh, you, you, love, you love me. No. Do you love me. You're a liar. You bought me a ring, so I had to make up for it. You love so. me. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. She loves me. Right, we've got a house to clean. Off. Yeah, we have. We're on our way. Look at the car all loaded up. That is six tanks of helium. For 300 balloons that I want blown up and putting on the ceiling. That it's doesn't a, agree it's with. Sort of bullshit. No, it's nice. It'll look nice when it's, it's done. It will look nice when it's done. Yeah, we're on our way now to go and set it up. Well, we're just doing the drapes today. I'm hoping that it's just going to be like a straightforward, easy job. And we hope that the drapes are actually look the nicest, though. Yeah. I'm hoping they don't. Hmm. I'm going to be very upset. But you know what? Anything's going to look better than what it looks like now, in my opinion. Oak really thinks the room's all right, and it is all right, but like for an engagement party, it's kind of ugly. For an engagement party? Yeah. For a party? Just just forget the engagement part. No. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, but it's going to be pretty in there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even talk about it when it was properly, but I got Oak's initials, which is so cringe, but just for the engagement <laughs> party. So cringe. You got it because you love me? No, I got it because it's the engagement party. <laughs> and then on this hand, I just got a little heart. These are literally the exact nails that I had when we got engaged. Remember? Yeah. I just added a little OS shout to Cham. Yeah. She wanted to kill me. She was like, I might struggle with the S. Killed it. You got this? Yeah, I love that you got the heart as well on the other side. Yeah. I think I would have preferred just an O though. I think it would look better with just an O and a heart. Yeah. But it's there now. It's fine. Can everyone say a prayer for us and hope that this goes up so easily? Have you got high hopes? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You have? Still sticky hooks are going to be fine. It just depends if the, hook, the sticky hooks, the sticky hook. Can everyone say a prayer? Thanks. Yeah. 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 before. It's my little helper. It's just in my face. It's me face. You can't really see you because the light's behind you anyway. She could be smart. Right, we're home. The room's nearly finished. Um, just some last minute bits to do tomorrow. But now I need to stand here and make loads of ham and cheese sandwiches at, I think it's half nine now. So that's going to be fun. So that is going to be me for the next however long it takes to make three loaves of bread worth of sandwiches. One bread. Where is like put the other breads? The breads. Here's the trays for going in. This is what I'm going to be doing now for the next however long. I would time lapse it but my camera's going to die so I'm not going to bother. I'm just about to walk the dogs. <laughs> right, pray for me. Pray this doesn't take too long. I'm literally just sat editing this vlog and realised I didn't say or do anything after that. But I made all the sandwiches, walked the dogs, went to bed. It's a few days later now. The party's already been and gone. It was such a good night. I literally loved it. The room looks so pretty. I didn't get any videos or photos of it though because I just didn't want any pressure on myself to film or take any pictures or anything like that of that night. Um, so I didn't really get any footage of it, so I am sorry about that. I just wanted like to enjoy the time with all my favourite people around me and it was literally the best party ever. I had such a good night. But yeah, I'm just coming on here to end the vlog because I didn't end it, obviously. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All the links to my addicted bits are down below as well. In the next videos you'll see from me are the Dubai vlogs. Woohoo! Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon with a brand new video.